Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And for these who don't know me, I post regularly short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok, and also here on YouTube, as you see. <laughs> if you want to support me, please follow me there or leave me some love. All right, I'm ready with the introduction, so let's start with the tutorial. We will create this cool animation today. You will learn the basics of how to animate a figure and how you can add face extractions. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Alright, let's start with the tutorial. For this project you need Death3D. The program is completely for free and you can download their figures and many other assets and you can also export it to Cinema 4D. To get this program you have to go under this tag here. All you have to do is to register on the website. And then you will get the download file. Now you can open Death3D, it looks like this. And to get the figures you have to go under install and to figures. Here will appear Genesis number 8. I already downloaded it, so that's the reason why it's not shown here. You have to double click on the Genesis 8 icon and after it you can go to smart content and under figures you will see, okay, here is the download file. I always work with this version because it offers the most features and it will later on work probably in Cinema 4D or in Blender. Double click on Genesis 8 and under figure you can choose between female and male. I choose male. If you click on this layer here, you can also choose transformation sliders for the whole body. We choose bodybuilder and now we get this cool silhouette. And for this project we don't need more. In the next step we want to export this figure to Cinema 4D. The best thing is to google death to Cinema 4D bridge and you will see this site here. And after it, you can download it and install it. It's also really simple. I also link you a video in the caption. If you do everything probably, you can go under File, choose Send to, Desk to Cinema 4D. Now we also want to export the sliders here on the site. And for this, we have to go under Choose Morphs. For this project, we only need the actor morphs with the bodybuilder transformation and choose everything out of this category and press on add for export. After it we go to pose controls and we only need everything what transform the eyes like eyes closed and other things and we also choose it for add for export. So if you're ready press on accept. This is also right and that's it. Now we can open Cinema 4D and here you have also installed the plugin Bridge inside of Cinema 4D. I also link you a video in the caption, it's also really simple. It's a one minute video and if you do everything probably this layer will here appear and then you have to go to Desk to Cinema 4D and press on the button Genesis Characters. As you can see, the bodybuilder transformation is not visible here in Cinema 4D. To fix it, you have to go to this layer and here you see bodybuilder. Increase everything to 100% and now we have the same figure like in Death 3D. Now we create our pose like in my artwork. For this, you have to click on the bones and we work with the rotation tool. And now you can transform the whole body. It's really simple and easy. And you can, of course, choose a pose, whatever you want. If you are ready, um, you have to choose a subdivision surface. Oh, okay, wrong icon. <laughs> and you have to put it here and this under it. Now you have the perfect silhouette with all subdivisions. 
Now we include the rock inside of the scene and for this we work with Quixel Bridge. This program is also completely for free and here you can download different materials, rocks, 3D plans and other things. The installation is also really simple and here we search for rock and I choose beach boulder. Ready with the stone you have to press on download. I already downloaded it and after it you can press export and the rock will automatically export in Cinema 4D. If it don't work um, there's sometimes an issue. I will link your video in the caption how to fix it. But it also has to work with the latest version of Cinema 4D. I have 2024. So it's not a problem because of the newest of the program. You can fix everything. Alright, back to the project. Now you have to bring the stone or rock in the right position. And as you can see, this is not right here. Fix everything. It's not visible in the scene, but work probably. <laughs> okay, now we create this abstract shapes here on the side. And for this, we need the spline tool. And now we can draw splines. If you are ready with the spline, press the escape button. And now you can move on with a new spline. Already, you have to choose here a circle spline, choose a radius of 1 and after it we choose a sweep and bring it in this position. Alright, as you can see it looks a little bit different. To get the spikes on the top we have to go here under details and here we have to choose this point and bring it down. So, alright, in the next step we bring to the right positions. For this you have to choose the points. And Finally we insert the moon. I have a 3D moon. You can also work only with a sphere. Um, now we have to go back to the window here. Copy and paste. And now the moon is here. To get uh, the points here away we have to go under this tag that the whole object can be selected. Now you go on the coordinates and here we choose a radius of 3 in all axes. And now we have to bring it to the right position. Perfect! That's it. We built the whole scene. Attention, artwork of the week! Naichui did it. He tagged me under his artwork with Ad Art Invader. And now you have the exclusive shout out here. I really love the animation, the colors are really cool and the vibe and especially the color changing, well done. And yeah, you find the link to Night Shui, uh, social media in the caption. Follow him and give him some love and let's move on with the tutorial. The materials. The materials. materials. Alright, to work with the materials we need first our render view to see what happened in the scene. Now we can bring it here. Now we can also change uh, our render view here by 1080 by 1080 pixels so that we get the right render region. Perfect. And now we want to work with the materials. To see the materials in the newer version we have to go here under material manager and now every material is visible. But first, you can see everything is dark. We have to add a light and I work with a dome light. On this side, we have to go to object and add graph. Oh yeah, sorry. So many windows. <laughs> we can add a picture of our choice and I choose a HDRI map. It's a sky. And now we choose everything what compared to the body. For example, face. And here we have to work with this text. Disconnect the roughness. And now we can put metal to 1 and roughness we stay by 0.2. And this process we repeat for all uh, parts of the figure what compare with skin. 
And I think the whole figure is a little bit too dark. To fix it, we have to go to the dome light again. And under intensity multiplier, I choose two. I think it's perfect. All right, now we make the texture of the stone here. For this, we get from Quixel Bridge also the right material. And here we choose under preset silver. And we disconnect with roughness and we put roughness to zero. And we also remove the diffuse color. Okay, don't work. But it's because he has the right material, it's on the wrong position by exporting. So, looks like this now. I think it's too much, so we increase the roughness like this. And here we also add a subdivision surface. Now we have a really good result. In the next step, we create the material for the abstract shapes. For this, we double click in the material window, drag and drop the material on the sweep, and here, we choose from Metalness 1 and Roughness 0.2 is right. And here on the base color, we make it a little bit higher. So in the next step, we make the eyes glow. For this, we choose everything what compared to the eye. For example, purples. And here we go under Emission. And as you can see, the Emission tag is already connected. So here we also have to disconnect everything from the emission tag. Now you can go here again under emission and for weight you choose 2. And base color we also disconnect so that we can choose here color white. So nothing happened but we have to go here. We choose the popples material and make it for every black areas to find the right position and now the eyes are white. Now we make the tex texturing for the moon. So have the moon material and here we also disconnect everything what is connected under emission. We can go to the emission and increase the lightning. Okay, like this. Now we have to insert a camera. We go here on the redshift, camera, basic or standard. And now we, you press here on this icon. And I think we have to choose a better camera position. Now we choose the camera and we go under color correction and make a check mark under tone mapping. And here under blacks, we can increase the shadows. So, and under saturation, I choose 35%, like this. It looks good. Now we go under lens effect, and here we want the bloom effect, and for the, this we press on override. The reflections are really cool, but as you can see, the eyes are not glowing. For this, you have to choose the material again. Open the material like this, so go again here. Material manager, choose this glowing material and under emission choose a higher value choose around 30 or less however you want and the moon is also not glowing yeah the moon looks weird for this we go under transmission and increase it increase the weight so i think it's much better and you want my project file you can get it on patreon you can find my project with all textures i use there you can also support me as an artist, so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The animation. Okay, now we increase the animation to 6 seconds. It's 180 frames. And first we animate the arms. For this you have to choose this bone here again, press here at the icon to set a keyframe, go to the end of the animation and set again a keyframe. Now it's uh, a loop animation because the beginning and the end is the same position. And now go in the middle wherever you want of the animation and change the position of the arm. 
And if you are happy, set a new keyframe. And now it's animated. Now you can repeat it for this bone too. Set a keyframe to the end the same. Go to a other frame here in the middle of the animation. Because if it's all the time at the same point, it looks really robotic. But now it will get a better flow. And now you have to change again here the position like this and set a new keyframe. Right, now we animate the moon. First we set again the keyframes and we want a rotation in the moon. And for this we go to the end of the animation and rotate the whole moon by 360 degrees and set a new keyframe. And now it rotates. You go also in the middle of the animation and change the position of the moon. And now everything is animated. So you can increase every bone you want. All right, in the last step, we animate the eyes. And for this, we go here under this layer. We exported also our face extractions. So user data and we have to go under eyes. Eyes closed. So now we have to press here to set the keyframe. We bring the animation slider to a new frame, increase it by 125, set a new keyframe, and after it, we bring it to zero again and new keyframe. And yeah, that's it. Now it's everything animated, the eyes also. And now in the last step, we want that the animation is linear. For this, we go under window, timeline F curve, and now we have all animation curves that we are created and now we have to select the points at the beginning then you press command a to choose all points and then you have to press the linear button now the whole animation is linear and it works the whole animation duration in the same speed so we are ready now you can render the animation Follow me so you don't miss another video from me. A new Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to tag me at Art Invader under your renders. I want to see what cool things you've created. See you in the next week.